Good morning, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl E back again with another video. Um, today I'm doing my makeup brat style. Long story short, I like did one of those TikTok filters and it's like, which brats are you? Side note, I know nothing about the brats. Like I didn't watch them growing up. I have no concept of who these characters are, but this was the character that was chosen for me. She has this kind of like pinky hearts look going on. It's given very girly um so yeah i'm gonna try to replicate the look and just be chatting with you while i'm doing my makeup i'm gonna start off with the one size secure the blur primer uh, i'm gonna put this all over my face and get started um i don't know if y'all actually like follow me on social media or whatever but my life has been kind of a mess lately let me explain why so i quit my job which is like not a big deal but that means i have to find like a new job and oh, if you know anything about like tech interviews and stuff like uh finding a new job is like not as easy as just like putting in a job application we basically have to like do a test each time you like switch from job to job and what's annoying is like to do well on this kind of test, like the interviews, the test, um, you have to do a lot of studying like ahead of time. And what actually sucks is that the studying that you're doing and all the preparation you're doing for the test, you know, for the interview generally has nothing to do with what you're actually doing on the job. I was saying all the interview prep that like, I'm gonna be doing for like the job search will have nothing like absolutely nothing to do with what I do on the day-to-day -day. so it's really very annoying um so I've just been really tired because also while I'm job searching I was like since I don't actually have a day job I'm gonna be doing my brows I'm using this the benefit Pertalis brow pencil this is probably in the shade 1b not 1b but like black the blackity black one back to me <laughs> um i told myself like while i am job searching that i would try to post like a youtube video a day and post like a tiktok video a day and you know while also spending the majority of my day either cleaning my house trying to be like in a better adult by like actually feeding myself proper meals um and also studying to get a job i've come to find out that i'm actually super tired <laughs> i i'm super tired like this is kind of a tiring schedule to maintain and i really want to give props to the people who like stuck it out and built a career and following content creating while maintaining a full-time job while maintaining a family while maintaining kids because like i'm a quitter so like as soon as life gets like somewhat difficult i immediately want to give up and quit and my definition of quitting is when life gets hard drop all contact with people I'm gonna be using the Benefit Concealer. This is the shade 1L01. I don't know, I got sent it in the mail. But as I was saying, like my my solution to like problems when like life starts getting hard, when work gets hard is like I just quit. So usually the first thing for me to go is like self-care. And that just means that if I was going to the gym before, done. I was out here cooking healthy meals for me, rejected. Like just anything that could possibly benefit myself and my body immediately gets eliminated. So um, I'm trying to fix that. I don't even know how to go about like fixing that in the long term, but I'm trying to do better. But long story short, I feel like it's hard. And then for me, I'm also like an isolationist. So like I just start to isolate myself because I'm overwhelmed with everything and I'm like I need time to be myself so I can like decompress and stuff but then I don't actually decompress I'm just like at home 
silent panicking without actually being productive so a vicious cycle anyways this is my eyebrows for now i'm gonna use concealer to go where concealer goes this concealer is actually a bit bright for me so i'm switching to my Too faced born this way concealer this is the shade chestnut and this is low-key like my favorite i used to be like a nars girl i think was the one i was using before i used to use nars quite a lot but there's just something about like the Too faced concealer i really like it so i'm gonna put that here I know it seems like a lot and it is, but this is because I forgot to color con color correct. So I have no choice uh, but to do this. I'm gonna take a dry sponge and just blend this in. So, um, but yeah, so that's been my life. I'm like currently studying for a job, but also I've like become part of a nonprofit. I'm like helping out for free, obviously. Um, and I am their events coordinator and that's been interesting in that it's kind of fun because I used to attend like I attended and help I attend and help uh, host events like I help while they're doing events and stuff but like now I have an official title um, the nonprofit by the way is UIU it's called Ibo, Umu Ibo Unite it's basically like a cultural group for Igbo people who are abroad and in the diaspora or whatever you want to call it to kind of you know meet people in their community host events get to know each other um, and celebrate and learn more about our culture also it's just a really great way to hang out um, and I think we have branches in like most major cities in the US so if you move and you're like near a major city you know like Houston Dallas DC etc etc there's more than likely a branch there um, and if you're interested in Igbo culture and you don't even have to be like Nigerian or Igbo to partake like it's a good way to find like community friends etc etc um, just like a side note but my concealer is Brendan I'm not gonna lie it's looking real ashy but it's whatever I am going to use some powder and set under my eyes because they have been creasing a lot um, because my skincare has been horrible and I'm insomniac so that means I really don't be sleeping so yeah I'm just gonna try to just a little bit put it under there and hope for the best it's probably still gonna like crease and stuff but I did my best for now and then set a little in my eyes because apparently there's some shadow to this look so yeah but yeah anyway i've been part of a nonprofit, and i've been helping out and this is actually taking a lot more effort than i thought it would be like i like when it comes to events i really like to be organized like way ahead of time um and it's not and like it's probably because it's like a newer chapter and stuff but yeah it's been kind of a drain so i'm actually going to start with the shadow it looks to me that there is a lighter inner layer and then a darker pink layer it doesn't look like eyeliner so i'm just not going to do eyeliner but i had two things that i wanted to try first is this rare beauty eyeshadow base in the shade nearly berry it looks like it would work i don't know if you can see that I don't know why I always put it in a weird spot, but that's the Nearly Berry. And then I had this for a moment, but this is the Color Fix Glaze. It is like a multi-purpose tool. You can use it for blush, eyeshadow, etc., etc. And this is the color. This is the color Cupcake. And I think this would work exactly for my niece. You see it? So like the lighter color and the darker color and that looks just like the image so i am gonna do the lighter color first obviously actually no i think i'm gonna do the darker color first because one is like matte and one is not and i feel like it's easier to work with the matte one first than the liquidy so i got a brush i am gonna dab this right 
on the lid. Oh, that is very nice, actually. It's quite pretty. And I already know something about Miss Rare Beauty products is that they go far. A little goes a really, really long way. Mm, apparently not in this situation, though. So <laughs> I'm going to dab some more. Let's not be shy. And then I'm going to blend it out with a brush. Ooh, is it the brush that's causing this? Maybe it's the type of brush I'm using because it is not showing the color. Maybe I'm just supposed to like leave it on. Maybe I'm supposed to use this to blend it. Let me try that. Y'all see it? Cool. And let that just set because it's set really pigmented on my hand. Like it's a pretty solid color. I'm gonna do the same for the other eye. Just use this as the actual applicator. I am gonna do my foundation um, because the look, if you can see it, it has like hearts on the cheeks, like right below the eyes. So I wanna get the foundation dry before I do that. And today is the Lancome Tete de Wear 520 Suede W. Y'all really like to come for me for like using a shade that is like not my facial color but like you see do you see my body my body is like significantly lighter than my face so i tend to use a lighter face foundation just so it will like not be like i have a really dark face and like a much lighter body like i try to you know go a shade in between so yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that so yes, it is too light for my face. This is not my face color. I have a foundation that is my face color. However, it makes it look like I got a dark bobblehead sitting on my neck, especially when I'm wearing things that show like my neck and my body. I try to make it as close of a match as possible. I think this probably looks fine. Before I add the little glaze thing, I am going to use a pink from an eyeshadow palette that I have to just, you know, zhuzh up the situation on my lid just to like fill it in so you can't see like the brown underneath and then i am going to use well i'm going to apply that glaze the cupcake glaze color now i've never actually used this on my eyes before so i'm not sure if i'm supposed to use like my finger which I did, but like for better control, I'm gonna try to use like a tiny, you see it? Tiny ass brush. Okay. And I've learned my lesson from using this before. A little <laughs> goes a really long way. So we're gonna be very shy. Like, look. Very shy. Very shy. That's it. You see that? That's that's it for now. Okay? And then I'm gonna just if I go like this, you can like see my crease and I just want it on that part, like the part that shows not at the crease. The visible part of the fold, if that makes sense. Okay, it's coming along. It's looking not bad. Maybe I should have done white underneath, but it's too late now because I didn't do white on this eye. I can't make it look better on the other eye. Okay, it's visible, which is really all I ask for these days. Like my bar is on the, it's on, it's on the floor, it's in hell. Okay, and when I go like this, I can see it. I'm gonna refer to my picture one more time to see what her eye is looking like. Oh, it looks like she goes all the way up. So this is gonna be like a fake wing situation, which I'm fine with. I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. This looks fine to me. We're gonna do it on the other side. It will have to do. The Rare Beauty is not giving me the color payout that I wanted, so I think I will just use eyeshadow and go over top. Because like, I don't know, I expected more. It's giving kind of ashy. I'm just gonna go over it on blend outs. Blend, blend babes. 
blend. Also, I'm looking now and she seems to have like pink eyebrows, but like obviously my eyebrows are not pink. And I will do my best to try to add some pink to my eyebrows, but no guarantees. Taking an eyeshadow brush, you see it? It's an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna take the darkest pink that I've been using and I'm just gonna, oh, oh, this was a mistake. I didn't realize it was actually gonna show up, my bad. Okay. <laughs> this was not well thought out. Let's, yeah, let's use the lighter pink. I didn't really think it would show, but I guess I will be having pink eyebrows today. So that's cool. Yeah, okay, looks weird. I mean, I don't not like it, but I also don't really like it either. I don't know, but it's fine. I'm gonna brush this out and pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's a cover. Try again, brush it out, ooh. Oh wow, this is crazy, okay. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. I look rough. My face looks rough. The concealer, rough. Everything just looks really rough. I'm not feeling the look today. And this is bleeding. You're not supposed to bleed. Oh my god. She has hearts on her cheeks. And it looks like three, like three, and then two, three, and then two. So I'm going to try to replicate that. How do I make a heart? How do you make a heart? do this like if I draw the heart on the tape and then I cut it out I could just color it in I'm a genius this is gonna work cool so if you see I drew the hearts on here and I'm gonna go like this and like this so I'm gonna cut it out with some scissors also reference photo has pink lips so I'm gonna start the process of staining my lips with the Penty <laughs> Fenty lip stain. This is the shade Mai Tai. It's like my favorite. So yeah, I'm gonna just apply that. Okay, so lip stain applied. Now, time to cut my hearts out. Fingers crossed, hope for the best. Yar. One heart done, baby. Five more to go. Okay, like solid. So I'm literally just gonna paste it. And I'm gonna fill it in with eyeshadow. Literally the pink I used earlier, we're just gonna use it again and hope for the best. Okay, and hearts <laughs> it's kind of cute it's also kind of crooked so let's hope for better on this side and then we just rip it off and we have hearts they're not symmetrical but they're there uh <laughs> so that's really it uh with the hearts i am gonna add some eyeliner um and probably some like blush on my lows or something and you know see what we're looking like as i suspected the glaze is sticky um so i really can't do liner and i also really can't do lashes because i should have done those things first but i didn't but we all learn <laughs> um so i am just gonna add some mascara add some blush and come back and show you the final result so this is more or less the final look Last step is to add some hot pink gloss to bring it all together. And this is kind of it. I added some clips to match the eyes. Yeah, 
this is my interpretation of this brat's look uh, if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up um, and if you like this content please feel free to subscribe um, so you can get notified anytime I release anything new and here is the list of all my social media so you can follow me if you want to um, but that's it that's all I got today thank you for watching bye